introducing uh, John D. Minton, uh, Supreme Court Justice, State of Kentucky, and the uh, Circuit Court Judge Tim Cohn. Appreciate everybody coming out for this. We really, it's a really proud day. Uh, Justin Cowan did a lot of work getting us all together. And of course, uh, Gail Critchlow uh, did, did it, and our staff did. So we're really, really proud of it. And, uh, uh, and we really appreciate that uh, Judge Minton came down today and Judge Coleman. So it's going to be a good day. So welcome. Judge Minton. You solemnly swear that you support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky so long as you continue to serve thereof, and that you'll faithfully execute to the best of your ability the office of circuit judge for this judicial circuit according to law. And you further solemnly swear that since the adoption of the present Constitution, you being a citizen of this state have not fought a duel with deadly weapons within this state nor out of it, nor have you sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have acted as a second in carrying a challenge, nor aided or assisted any person Thus, if they so help you, God. Congratulations, Judge Cole. Thank you so much. If you would raise your right hands, please. You swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky so long as you are a continuous citizen thereof and that you will faithfully execute to the best of your ability, the office uh, that uh, uh, Forrest said, which would be the circuit court clerk and county court clerk, uh, and do further solemnly swear that since the adoption of the present Constitution and being a citizen of this state, you have not fought a duel with deadly weapons and within the state nor out of it, nor have you sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have you acted as second in carrying out a challenge nor aided or assisted any person thus offending so that the additional oath that each of you must give. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will truly discharge the duties of the office that you're taking according uh, to the best of your skill and judgment, making the uh, entries and records of all orders, judgments, decrees, opinions, and proceedings of the court, and carefully filing and preserving in your office all books and papers which are done and uh, come into your possession by virtue of your office and that you will not knowingly or willingly commit any malfeasance of office and will faithfully execute the duties of your office without favor, affection, uh, or partiality. So help you God. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Y'all raise your right hands, please. <coughs> Do you swear or, uh, or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky so long as you continue to assist in thereof and that you will faithfully execute to the best of your ability the office which you are taking according to law and to further solemnly uh, swear that since the adoption of this present Constitution, uh, you being a citizen of this state have not fought a duel with a deadly weapon with, uh, within the state nor out of it, nor have you sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have acted as a second in carrying out a challenge, 
nor aid it or assess that any person thus offended so help you God. Amen. Got an additional oath to be in law enforcement. Do you also uh, swear or affirm that you will uh, do right as well to the poor as to the rich in all things belonging to your office uh, that you are taking, that you will do no uh, wrong to any one for any gift, reward, or promise, nor favor or hatred in, in all things that you will faithfully and impartially execute the duties of your office according to the best of your skill and judgment, so help you God. Amen. And one more. Do you also further swear that you will endeavor to, uh, to the best of your ability to detect and prosecute all gamblers and others violating the laws against gaming? Amen. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you solemnly uh, swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky so long as you continue to assist in thereof and that you will faithfully execute to the best of your ability the office uh, of Commonwealth's attorney uh, according to law and you do further solemnly swear that since the adoption of the present Constitution you being a citizen of this state had not fought a duel with deadly weapons uh, within the state or out of it nor have you sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have you acted as a second in carrying out a challenge or aided or assisted any person thus offending, so help you God. I do. Okay, in addition, do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will do right as well as to the poor and to the rich and all things belonging to your office as Commonwealth's Attorney for the 38th Judicial Circuit, that you will do no wrong to anyone for any gift, reward, or promise, nor have, uh, favor or hatred, and in all things that you will faithfully and impartially execute the duties of your office according to the best of your skill and judgment, so help you God. I do. Do you also further swear that you will not endeavor to the best of your ability to detect, that you will endeavor to the best of your ability to detect and prosecute all gamblers and others violating the laws against gaming? I do. Congratulations. Thank you. Do each of you solemnly swear that you'll support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky as long as you continue citizens thereof, and that you'll faithfully execute to the best of the Office of District Judge for the 38th Judicial District according to law? And do you further solemnly swear that since the adoption of the present Constitution, you being citizens of this state have not fought a duel with deadly weapons within this state nor out of it, nor have you sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor acted as a second in carrying a challenge, nor aided or assisted? Any person thus offending, so help you God. I do. Congratulations, judges. Thank you. All right, if you all would raise your right hands, please. <laughs> you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth uh, of Kentucky so long as you continue to assist in thereof and that you will faithfully execute to the best of your ability the office for, uh, that you are taking according to all, and to further solemnly swear that since the adoption of the present Constitution, you being a citizen of this state, have not fought a duel with deadly weapons within the state nor out of it, nor have you sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have you acted as a second in carrying out a challenge, nor aided or assisted any person thus offending, so help you God. Congratulations. Since the adoption of the present constitution, that you've been a citizen of this state, do not fall a duel with deadly weapons uh, within the state nor out of it, nor have you sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have you acted as a second in carrying out a challenge nor uh, aided or assisted any person that's so offending, so help you God. Yeah. All right, then those courts that are with us, both circuit and county court, can you raise your right hand, please? Do you swear or affirm that you will 
will and truly discharge uh, the duties of the office of uh, your undertaking according to the best of your skill and judgment, making the true entries and records of all orders, judgments, decrees, opinions, and proceedings of the court, and carefully uh, filing and preserving in your office all books and papers for which you come into your possession by virtue of your office, and that you will not knowingly or willingly commit any malfeasance of office, and you will faithfully execute the duties of your office without favor, affection, or partiality whatsoever. Thank you.